In this episode, we'll look at a quick way in DaVinci Resolve 12.5 to correct for white balance. You can see here in this particular image that we have, we have colors that are a little bit off because we set our white balance incorrectly. And in fact, if we look at the vector scope and the waveform here, we can see it very, very clearly. Here, for example, this white t-shirt is represented. It's a, probably one of the brighter things in the image, which is why it's shown up here at the top, primarily in red because the entire color balance is shifted toward red. And then we can see the corresponding green and blue down here. So that's off a bit. And then this background, which should normally be gray, you can see represented here in these three different bands. Again, much more red than green or blue. So what do we do to fix this and how can we do it quickly? My favorite way to do this is a technique I learned from Alex Jordan. If you haven't heard of Alex Jordan, he teaches color grading in DaVinci Resolve. And I'll leave a link down for his site down below. Um, he has some great courses, many of which are free. And then he also has some paid courses definitely worth your time if you want to learn more about DaVinci Resolve. So how do we do this? The first thing we're going to do is create a new serial node. So we'll come up to the nodes menu, choose add serial node. Then what we'll do is we'll come into the curves, make sure this is selected right here. Then we'll want to make sure that this is set to custom right here. We're using the custom curves. And then if you have these gang together like this, the little um, chain symbol here is lit up. Go ahead and tap that and turn that off. Next, what we're going to do is come up to the image here. Now, what we're doing in the actual picture here is we're looking for things that should either be pure white, pure gray, or pure black. And in this particular case, we have at least pure, what should be pure white and what should be pure gray. So here's a pure white here, this t-shirt, and then the background should be kind of a pure gray. So what I mean by pure is that it shouldn't have a color cast to it. It should be gray. And so let's start with the highlights here in the white t-shirt. So what I'll do here is I'll just go ahead and if I if I don't have the qualifier to the little eyedropper, dropper, what I can do is come over to this menu here, select qualifier, and I'll just click somewhere in the white t-shirt that should be white. When I do that, you'll notice if I come back down here to the curves, I can choose the red channel, the green channel, and the blue channel. And you can see they're off. They're not lined up vertically. So the red is sitting much higher than the green, which is sitting higher than the blue, just like over here in the waveform, which means we have too much red, probably about the right amount of green and not enough blue. So we can just line those up vertically. So all I have to do is select the red, go ahead and grab the red dot and pull it down vertically. I don't wanna move horizontally. I don't wanna move horizontally left or right. I just wanna go straight down so that this matches up with the same height as the green dot. And then I'll do the same with the blue, but pull that up so that it's the same height as the green dot, and you can see our color balance is already looking much closer to reality. Okay, now we'll create another node, nodes, add a serial node, and this time we're going to try and balance this gray background here. You can still see, if we look at the waveform, it's still off a little bit. There's more red than green than blue, so we also need to balance that a little bit. So we'll come up here, and I just went ahead and clicked here to get a sample from the gray background, and you can see those are off as well. Again, in the same fashion, there's more red than green than blue, albeit not as much. We'll go ahead and click on the red, pull the red down vertically so that it matches up with the green, then click the blue, pull that up so that it matches with the green as well. And you can see our white balance is looking much better already. Here's what it looked like before. And here's what it looks like after our transformation. We could do a little bit more fine tuning here. You can see in the waveforms, we're still seeing a little bit more red than the others. I could just come in and grab this red, pull it down just a little bit more. And there we go. That's looking very true to life in terms of overall color. So that's how you quickly white balance in DaVinci Resolve 12.5. I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, leave those down below. And if you have not already subscribed, go ahead and do that. And we'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon. Music